Hello, today I'm recording the Ignite Payments gift card program materials for you. Here we go, we're at Ignite Payments, the gift card program. What we're talking about today is the first data gift cards. This is also known as the, as the Value Link program. This is a traditional plastic gift card program. Our agenda, we'll do a product overview. We'll talk about features, benefits, some to statistics and marketing. And uh, what's in it for me from the agent's perspective? We do always like to think of that. Uh, the more products and services your client has with you, the less likely they are to leave. When you look at your TV or look at your mailbox and you see the telecom providers and the cable service providers and the satellite providers bundling, they're doing it for a reason. The more products and services you have with them, the less likely you are to leave them and it applies for us at Ignite Payments as well. It can also help improve customer satisfaction and profit. If you stop to think for a minute, why do cardholders like to use gift cards as well as why do, uh, how do merchants benefit from gift cards? I think you'll come up with a lot of different things on your own. You won't even need this presentation to figure that out. People like to give gift cards because they can get what they want. Uh, merchants like to provide gift cards because that's money in their pocket right now. And there's this thing called ticket list, meaning if I get a gift card for $20, probably I'm spending more than $20. And if I spend under $20, chances are I might not come back and spend that extra 2 or $3 that are left over. So then there's the money left over from not spending the money on the gift card and they call that breakage. Also, some gift cards are never redeemed. So merchants with gift card programs typically see significant increases in revenue and merchants are more likely to refer their peers provides additional monthly residual income for each gift card for you. So you do get residuals on uh, transaction fees and so forth. And if uh, it may give you an opportunity for new terminal sales, it can be a door opener as well. I'm going to ask you to pause the recording for a moment and read through these items. Apologies for that. Pause the recording and read through these items. Now that you've had a chance to read through the items, I encourage you to think about these statistics. Think about those which would apply to your talk track the next time you're talking to a merchant. Here are some gift card features with this first data gift card program, fast delivery times, convenient reporting, uh, bundled packages including gift cards and merchandise material like uh, a hook, a stand, little card holders and so forth. And um, the merchant can choose from a wide variety of items. The merchant does get a welcome kit with proven marketing tips to help them out. And it's all integrated in one statement. Their MasterCard Visa Discover processing right along with their gift card. Now target market, uh, markets for gift cards. Think about that for a moment. you'll see them populating here. Pretty much any merchant who is retail face-to-face -face with their client, this is a face-to-face -face program, is a candidate for a gift card. Now here's one I heard a few weeks back where there was a very innovative funeral home doing gift cards. Now it might sound a little bit morbid to start with, but here's what that funeral 
uh, that funeral home did with the cards. What they did was they took the cards and they gave it to uh, pastors and lay leaders in the area, a $300 gift card that when uh, somebody finds themselves in the unfortunate circumstances, it needs not to be quite so difficult. Here's a $300 gift card to provide to the person you're counseling. So think outside of the box when it comes to gift cards. Think about cross-marketing. I would encourage you that whenever you sell a gift card package, when your merchant gets their gift cards, that you should be their first customer. And then maybe you take that and you give that to another one of your customers. Hey, merchant benefits. I'll ask you to pause the recording and read through these. Many of these you may have already thought of. If you haven't, I encourage you to take some notes and start including those in your talk track when it comes to gift card. The next slide up has some marketing and promotional ideas. Again, I'll have you pause the recording and read through these. The one I'd like to highlight on this is the restaurant. Gift cards is a great way to comp meals. Let's say that there's an unfortunate experience that one of the patrons has. Rather than comping a meal, provide a gift card. That way you can get them to come back, have an opportunity to redeem yourself all the way around. You can also use it as a loyalty to spending more than $100 on a meal. Give them a $5 gift card to come back. And it will help drive business to the restaurant. Preload those cards for a nominal amount. Give them to local hotel and concierge desks. On this slide, we have some positioning and leading questions. I will click through these slides, pause the recording to read through entirely if you need to. Here on this slide, we have some consumer benefits. And now we're up to gift card program. At the beginning, I ask you to think about what you already knew about gift cards, meaning why do, card, why do customers like to receive gift cards? And how do gift cards benefit merchants? If you get, get your merchant thinking about those things, chances are the gift card program is going to sell itself. And especially if they don't already have a gift card, you might need to get them thinking about them to lead them down the path of self-discovery rather than selling something. Uncover that value and then fill it with what you have to offer. We do have three gift card packages. We have gift cards to go, we have what we call our standard program, and we have a custom card program. Let's start out with gift cards to go. With gift cards to go, the merchant gets 100 cards and carriers, an acrylic J-hook stand. They can select from nine designs. The card text prints in black only. They do get some font choices, up to four lines of text, and they get their welcome kit. The cost to you on gift cards to go is $39.99 for the first gift cards to go package. Again, 100 cards, 100 carriers. Uh, some agents use this as a closing tool. It's only $40. And what some agents will do is say, and if you sign with me today, 
I'll give you gift cards at my cost of $39.99. And some agents, depending on the volume, they might just throw it in. And that would be up to you. Your cost on gift cards to go is $39.99. The standard card program does have a minimum order. Uh, there are dozens of template choices, and you do have a choice of colors when it comes to printing, the seven font styles and up to four lines of text. Standard cards, a lot more to choose from. In fact, 38 different designs. Here's a sample of what that is. Now, these are updated. Uh, periodically, and to see what's available today, go to www.firstaidgiftcards.com and you can see all of the design options for our standard gift card program. Standard gift card pricing is listed out for you here. Uh, we have here a minimum order, shows the minimum fee is 95 cents and the suggested fee is $1.90. If you go to My Agent Office, once you're on My Agent Office, if you go to My Office, Applications, ROLA Application Center, posted on the ROLA Application Center, you'll find a bundle of gift card information, including the application. It is a separate application for gift cards. Here is the minimum fee. This is from that bundle of information that you find on the Rolla Application Center. And here's the suggested fee. So minimum fee and suggested fee, keep that in mind as we move forward. On the next screen here, here are some icons. The merchant does have the option of adding a broad collection of imagery. And perhaps you have a dentist as a client. They could customize with a, a tooth and a toothbrush on the gift card, uh, gas for the gas, a, I'm unable to read this. I'll call that a tanning salon since I can't read it. <laughs> and then this next one, I'm not sure what that is either. I'm going to call it a skunk, skunk. I don't know why. <laughs> um, Let's go on to the next one. Here we have standard carrier. So you do have more options on the standard carriers, the folding uh, card holders, and then sleeves and white envelopes and so forth. So that was standard cards. Now with custom cards, there's a minimum order of 1,000. And then the merchant is going to work with a graphic designer to design their own card front and back. Here are the dimensions. And then they can also design their own characters. Here's some example of some custom cards shown here. For the custom cards, the pricing is minimum fee, suggested fee, minimum fee and suggested fee for the custom cards. Now, with the first data gift cards, they will give them one hour of graphic assistance, but that's really just to get through the proof, get that done. Uh, they could also contract with first data gift cards. They could use the graphic designers there. There would be an hourly fee in order to do that. Here's a sample of promotional materials, as we were talking about. Display stands, posters, wall and window decals, they can get those. And then here we have some important information. I made kind of a big deal about the minimum fee and the suggested fee. And here's why. For the first gift card order, the agent invoices the merchant for their first gift card holder. So you are going to be charged for your merchant's first first day of gift cards order. The agent will be charged through MAO, again, for each merchant's first gift card order. Then after the first gift card order, the merchant is charged directly at suggested pricing for any subsequent gift card holders. What that means then is your only opportunity to make money on the sale of gift cards is with that first order. After that, 
The merchant will be invoiced directly from First Data gift cards at suggested pricing. So if you give them a deal on their first one, just be aware that when they go back to buy more, they would be charged at suggested pricing. And then after that first gift card order, which you get to invoice the merchant for on your own, then the merchant is going to be charged at the suggested pricing. If you have any questions on this, contact your internal support person and they can walk you through it as well. Here's a summary review. I'd like you to pause the recording and answer these and then I'll go through the answers. Pause the recording now. Let's do the first one then. Which of the three card packages is the best starter package? Probably that gift cards to go, 100 cards and carriers for $39.99 your cost. Number two, how can you show the merchant the card types and accessories available from First Data? Well, that is at www.firstdatagiftcards.com. Number three, name four benefits to the merchant for carrying gift cards. Well, there's probably even more than 15. It's a billboard in your wallet. If they have a gift card, they might not spend it at all, or they might not spend all of it. Uh, if they spend all of it, probably they're going to spend more than is on the gift card. And people expect gift cards. If somebody comes into my store looking for a gift card, very low chance that if I don't sell gift cards that they're going to actually buy a gift in the store. They're either going to go to a store that does have gift cards or they'll go and buy a branded card like a MasterCard or a Visa or an American Express gift card so the person could come back and use that. And the next one here, which program requires merchants to approve the artwork before cards in production? Well, of course, that's going to be our custom program. And that concludes our recording. Thank you for listening.